so John, we're 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 in a, a time period between. Um, I don't know how I want to be delicate. Well, they call it Columbus Day and Thanksgiving. You know what I mean? With this, the time period we're sitting in right now. I guess you would call Onyewonge, and, 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 and what would you call Thanksgiving? I mean. Well, I, all of our ceremonies are considered a, a Thanksgiving, and we have 14 of them throughout the year. So it's not oh, just a, oh, no, it's wait, not wait, just a wait, harvest hey, ceremony. Wait, wait, tell me about the 14. You can start. we got time. Go ahead. Tell well, me. I mean, if, if, if we want to start with harvest, because where we're at right now, we have harvest. Um, we, uh, we have... A couple of others that are associated with, with weather that ha- comes in the in uh, in the early part of the winter. We have midwinters, which are um, well, somewhere what we would call around January, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, we we look for other elements of the uh, uh, of of nature. We have a maple syrup um, uh, when we start drawing the, the maple syrup the sap out of trees mm-hmm. for for syrup and for um, um, maple sap as a um, as a medicine. We have um, ceremonies that are associated with the first thunderstorms that come in the spring and uh, one of our major ceremonies is called the strawberry ceremony or strawberry festival because that's the first fruit that the uh, the creation bears mm-hmm. we have planting we have um, uh, green corn which is you know the you know, what we think about in terms of eating fresh corn mm-hmm. we have we have actually have a green bean ceremony then we have you know, uh, again, so you cycle through, but all together, there's, there's, there's 14 specific, uh, four major ones, but 14 ceremonies that, that really chart various things from, uh, from the different uh, moons of the year and different activities that, uh, uh, that are presented by, uh, you know, by the various times of the year, the seasonal changes. So the idea that, uh, that people try to associate only the harvest as the... Um, uh, as a Thanksgiving. Now, if you have to live through, you know, through an entire year to only be thankful once a year, then we think you're not doing it right. <laughs> but no, that period of time, though, mm-hmm. to talk about uh, in what is celebrated as American history, this is a, this is a tough time for Native people because we, we, first we've got to bat down all of the Columbus nonsense and, and the celebration of a guy who was a mass murderer, a guy who initiates the transatlantic slave trade because the first slaves to go uh, to tra- tra- um, to traverse the, the Atlantic, weren't African slaves coming to the Western Hemisphere? They were native hey, slaves John, coming back to Europe. Do you have one of those flyers for your thing? Because I'm going to do a live video on. Them. I um, don't. I can email it to you. Please. Okay. Yeah. So no. Th- I mean, so that's that's really what um, uh, that it makes this time of year tough. And then then the whole narrative about happy little pilgrims and happy little Indians uh, associated with New England is anything but the truth. I and mean, the fact of the matter is this is where, you know, Native people first got to see the real brutality uh, that, uh, that not just the pilgrims, but the, uh, but the British would bring to, bring to North America. Um, they're, they talk about the uh, King Philip's war, and King Philip wasn't even a king. He was, uh, he was Metacom's son. Uh, who, as a 12-year-old warrior, would have his head cut off and uh, posted a, and, and lodged on a post you know, as a warning to Native people. It's the first time that Native people had witnessed the level of um, uh, atrocities committed against women and children at the hands of the British. This is the history that we have with, uh, um, w- you know, with those early colonists of New England. So uh, that's not the way it's being taught to little kids in school. They want to make it sound like it was this this great and peaceful time, and and it, and it was anything but. Mm. Oh, well, in fact, since since Reggie interrupted, uh, I want to end this here, but I want to say, well, you have something going on. Tell us about it. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm I'm doing an event over at Verso Books uh, tonight at 7:30. Um, uh, Jeremiah and uh, uh, Kazembe are uh, beginning this. A series of, of events that are they're calling it the the overture. It's uh, the opening, the whole idea of trying to uh, have these events that will address social justice. And, and I'm honored to be the first uh, guest. Uh, Tony Blackman will be providing uh, music, and then I'll be uh, doing a conversation with John Kane to talk about the st- you know the, kind of the the the, stat- the state of native resistance and uh, uh, and native existence, I guess and. Um, and, and again, it's a perfect time of year because we are between these, um, you know, this Indigenous Peoples Day and what what some will call the National Native American Heritage Month is what happens with, is also 
what November gets assigned as. But mm -hmm. uh, but with all of that, there still isn't that great an understanding. You know, one mm -hmm. of the things that I always talk about is is how history has been car compartmentalized so much. Mm -hmm. I think about somebody like Abraham Lincoln. What people don't realize is that he signed an execution order for the largest mass execution in the history of the United States, an execution that would take place the day after Christmas in 1862. Now, if you do the math, you realize that the day after Christmas in 1862 is about a week and a half before he would uh, sign into law the Emancipation Proclamation. Mm. And if you don't connect the Emancipation Proclamation with this massive execution, then you can look at somebody with a complete, with a, a very incomplete picture. And but that never happened. Did oh, huh? Did, but it never happened. I what mean, never happened? The the mass ex mass execution. I mean, they, you had a, you had no. a soldiers after, but I never heard about this. No, uh, Mankato, Minnesota, 1862, day after Christmas, the good people of Minnesota were treated to a an execution, a huge gallows created for 38 Dakota to be hung by the neck. Mm. That execution order was signed by Abraham Lincoln directly. And it happened? And it happened. 1862, day after Christmas, a week and a half wow. before Lincoln would take this, take to the podium in Washington, D.C. to announce his, uh, his Emancipation Proclamation. So while some will call Lincoln the Emancipator, Native people still call him well, the Well, Emancipation Proclamation just to get more soldiers, uh, just to... Just no, but, and, to, uh, but you and I understand that, but there's, okay. still, there's still a lot of people, even within the black community, who don't fully grasp what the, the manipulation was of the Emancipation Proclamation. And if you take it out of context by not understanding what took place a mere week and a half before that in Mankato, Minnesota, then you clearly end up with a bad... And so that's part of why talking about some of this stuff is so important. Mm. Well, this won't get posted in enough time, but where is, is it Virtual? What, what bookstore is it? It's Verso Books. It's at 20 J Street, and this is... Uh, in, Bro in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn, right here in Brooklyn, yeah. Uh, what's the you know the subway stop? Where, 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 um, it's the F train, but it's 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 at the base of the Williams um, Williamsburg uh, Bridge. Williamsburg Bridge. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, yeah. okay. All right. And you say this you're you're like the first. The I'm the first honor, guest uh, of the fir uh, at the start of the series. That, and the uh, series is gonna. Do you know how long the series is going? I th I I don't know if they've got an end date, but they plan to do this thing on a regular basis. So I'll uh, I'll try to participate as much as I can. And uh, it's on a weekly anyway. basis every Friday. I think it's probably gonna be a monthly thing. A I, month? I suspect. Okay. Yeah. Oh, then it's going to go on for a while. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks so much. For you.